Hey, uh, welcome back. So in the last video, we created this game theme video. Now we're going to add some uh, things to really help pop it out, and we're going to animate this. So when I talk about animate, we're going to add some shotgun blast to that gun that our guy's holding. We're going to make this uh, epic really pop out, and we're going to kind of spin this around. So we're going to give it a little bit more life than what it is now. So we'll just hang on tight and I'll show y'all how to do it. And it's not too hard, but again, it does require a little bit of patience. Okay, so let's go to your browser. I just put in shotgunblast.png. You always want to add that PNG and that'll get you these right here. And you can pick this whatever one you want to use. I always like using this one right here. So the gunshot PNG images, take it, pull it out and drag it. Now, it's not going to come out as a clear image, so we're going to use our background website just to take it, drag it, and drop it. So, I want to clean it up. Now, we have a clear logo we can use in our videos. So, take it, download it, no, to the download bar here. Now, open your folder, just take it and drag it and drop it wherever you want to. I just like to do it. On my desktop is because I'm lazy at this. All right, now open up your DaVinci. Uh, you can find your file, or you can just put it back on here. So you're going to have everything pull up, and now I want to add my shotgun blast. Put my folder. It's on my desktop, and let's add that shotgun blast to our media. Now, to animate all this, there's something called keynotes, and that's these uh, little, uh, that's these little diamonds right here. So what these diamonds do is they just mark the place of where your image is, and then you can go across the timeline and then hit your diamond again, and that's going to create like a movement. So I'll do a quick one here, for example. So I want him to come in. So I'm just going to position him way out. Well, got to click on your person first. I want to pull him out over here. I want to click my keynote. Now that's going to remember that's where he's at. So he's not, he's not erased. He's just not there. So now we want to drag this out. And I'll probably drag them about, let's see, eight seconds. Nah. You can use this to bring it in some. I like to bring it in by frames. All right. So right here is going to be your, your frames. So I'll get, we'll look at, we'll go 20 frames. And now I'm going to drag him from my position about right here. I'll go another 10 frames and then put them back here. All right. Now I can just pull it back. Hit my play. And there he goes. And that's how we animate. And I mean, that's pretty much the um, short, short, sweet version of it. All right. So now as soon as he stops, I want to add my shotgun blast. So I'm going to put this in here, drag it, or drag it about right here. Of course, someone wants to move that. Let's see, I'll put it right here. And we want to change the angle. So this is going to be our angle right here. Now we can position it here, position it up. That looks good. Then you can make it bigger if you want. There you go. Okay, so we have it right here. We got our shotgun blast. And now let's start this video over again and see what it looks like. 
All right, so we got that. Of course, I don't want that to stay on. I kind of want it to flicker out. Well, how we do that? Okay, we'll uh, put this back to its keynote. You can use your left or right aerial pad to bring this over. And right there is where it flashes. So, I want to flash right about right there. Well, you want to go where it starts to flash right here. And then just hit your keynote right there. We'll go one, two, three, four, and a five. Now I wanted to bring the zoom in to zoom it out where I don't see it. Go about another five seconds. Bring it in. Make it disappear. And end this repeat as necessary. And we'll try to stop it there and see what it looks like. Okay, so that doesn't look good. <laughs> Let's try that again. Alright, go ahead and reset that. And that's just going to reset all this for this one. Now we want this to be set right there. Okay, so we want to do a different type of attack on this. So we're going to need to reposition it back, reset it. Get your angle going up to match where its gun's at. Raise it. And we just want to do good old copy and paste here. Now one thing you want to do is hit your plus button here. And that's really going to bring that in. If you don't, this is going to be too... Uh, I just want to get too close together to where you can't make any changes. So I think by default it would look like this, which you definitely can't change anything. So you'll hit your plus button. And now we can see our gun and we want to bring it in some. So let's try that. Then hit your arrows to go back and forth on track. And that looks good. So now we're just going to take this and copy it. Okay, now before you pace, if you do like I just did, it's going to look off. So just go ahead and right click and uh, cut it. Now it's going to pace wherever this bar is at. So just paste it here. All right, everything looks good. Now right here I said this is the frames. So I think to me it looks the best every two frames. So we'll go out another two frames, paste it, another two frames, paste, and then we can just run it back with our arrow keys, go forward, and you can see what it looks like. And then you can just sporadically put those bullets there wherever you want. Um, you can use the audio right here to really tell where the guns are at or the sound. So I like to try to match it up with this. I know I got something going on here. So I'll just paste it. Go on. Got some got some more sounds right here. You can also watch that guy too. See him turn around. I know he's going to shoot. Paste that over. Oh yeah, it has a lot of bullets going on there. All right, now I'm just gonna leave it right there. So now let's go ahead and play this and see what we have. All right, you got a little bit of animation there. And you can add more bullets if you want. That just kind of gets you started. Uh, next, let's go to our, our um, logo right here. 
And go ahead and bring this back out to about center. There we go. And uh, find the logo. Okay, and make sure you are highlighted on that. And again, we're going to use our keynotes. So we just click up here. And I want to kind of make it pulse out. Okay, when I say pulse, I mean like this. I can get this to start. <laughs> All right, now you don't have to do that, but that's just what I like to do, and I'll show you how I did that. So again, all with the keynotes. So I want to reset my keynotes, and I'll show you what I did. So hit that just to reset all of them. All right, so of course, you'll have to reset this where it needs to go. All right, that looks good to me. Lower it. Now we want it to start right there, so we just hit that on our keynotes. Now the only thing I want to do is the zoom, so we really just need to hit the zoom. And I want to go with 15 frames out, so I'm going to hit my right keyboard button 15 times, and you can count right here. We're at 15, and let's go ahead and raise that out. So, that looks good. We'll go about right here. Then I want to go 10 frames back to center. So, 15 going out and 10 going back. Again, you can just do what's best for you. That's just how I'm doing it. And then you just repeat all the way until you go to the end. Okay, and whenever you're done, you should have your epic pulsating just like this. Or however you just want to do it. Okay, and one more thing. Let's go ahead and animate this steam. Now here I'll show you a little trick, and I also would have made the epic part a little bit quicker too. But I just want you to get the practice on that. So we're going to rotate this around. So this is how you get the logos that just does all their spinning. And I'll show you how to do that here. Alright, so all we're going to do, click on our steam. Get, we want our rotation angle, so go ahead and click the keynote here. Well, I'll take it back. Make sure you have this set at the very front. And now let's go ahead and reset that. Okay, make sure you have the very front. Go uh, 10 frames out, or 15. I won't go 15. I tried frames during testing, and we'll go 15 frames out on this. So we'll do a... We'll do a negative 180 spin. About as close as you can get it. That's close enough. Okay, now go ahead and go another 15 frames out. And put it to a negative 36. All right. Oh, my apologies. I didn't hit my keynote first. So make sure you hit your keynote first. Okay, now let's try that again. Put that to a negative 180 degrees. All right, that's close. Go 15 frames out. And go a negative 360. And you can tell that it's working on your frame rate on your um, keynotes. You want to see the diamonds turn red. If it's not turning red, then you didn't hit your keynote in the beginning, which I still do that quite a bit, as you can tell. We want to go to 360. And now we have a spinning logo.
Now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste that. And we're going to have that same effect. So go ahead and drag this all the way back. First off, you want to put this to where the rotation stops. So at 15 right here, it stops and pull this in. Now we're going to need to zoom in because it's going to get very, very tiny. So just hit that positive in. A little too much there. Drag it all the way to this bar. All right, and now we're just going to copy and paste this all the way to the end. And take it and copy it. And actually what you can do, let me see on my, all right, now normally you can just hit control and V, but I actually have that set on my OBS. So I can't do that, but just keep hitting Control and V and you'll have it populate all the way over here. I want it the old fashioned way, unfortunately, because I can't Control and V it. But that's what you'll do if you can't Control and V it. And then as I play it through, we just have a rotating Steam logo. Oh, and always make sure your red bar is out. Unless you're control V in it, then it's just going to automatically pull it out. All right, now I told you wrong on rotation angle, not 360. It should go out to 533. If it doesn't, that wheel only goes halfway and doesn't spin all the way around. So, just my apologies, go back and change that, and it should be at 533, or just however it is on your systems. Make sure that this it starts right here, and it also ends right there. And then we can just copy and paste it. All right, so you look at the upper left. It looks better, but it's not the smoothest rotation. And that's something that you're just going to have to figure out and play with. Now, another way to speed this up, after you get a few of these set, you can actually shift and select. Now I have everything in its row, and then I can just copy it. Now, instead of just having one at a time, I can have all these populate all at once. Pull it back. Well, you gotta select them all first. There we go. Sorry, my mouse is being stupid today. Alright, now we have a whole group of them done. Do it one more time, and this should complete it. Alright, find the end of the video. Looks like about right here is a good spot. Yeah, right there is where it ends. Hit your B button to pull this blade out, and you can cut it. And then just select everything after that. Hit your A. Now I want to select everything here. Shift it and cut it. You can hit delete, but sometimes I have issues when I hit delete. I don't know what causes that. So I find it safer just to go ahead and cut it. Pull this red bar all the way back, hit play, and now we can watch our video. Now we have a little animation with a guy, we're shooting the gun. We got the epic logo just pulsating. We have the steam in the upper left. 
and if you stretch the video out, you can actually slow down the uh, spin. You don't have to add the spin. But hopefully, I gave you all. Uh, hopefully, I gave you all enough to get this started and learn how to make this. These are just the simple tools I use. You can go in a lot deeper, but that's really all you need to do to create these videos. And once again, you know, when you're ready to export it out, you'll go to DaVinci Resolve. I'm sorry, go to File, Quick Export. You can just leave that as is, hit export. Always want to make sure you're at least 1920 by 1080. Yeah, I'm just going to rename it Epic Animated. All right, and just remember the location where it's going to save at. Hit save. This is going to take about 30 seconds to do. All right, and um, after the uh, video has been exported, we can come over here and test it out, see what it looks like after it's completed. All right, and again, on my end, I have the audio turned off just so I'm not blowing your ear out. But here we go, a little bit more, a little bit more fancier video. Okay, well, any, but anyways, I hope that helped y'all out. Hope you learned something new today. Uh, many ways, you know, routine. If it's helped you out, like, su like, share, subscribe. And I will check you all out on the next video. I don't know what that video will be yet, but it will be something. Hopefully helpful. Anyways, y'all have a great day, and I will catch you later. Bye.